Hello, my awesome Taurus. I missed you guys. Taurus, I hope you're doing great. Um, it's Thursday already. Happy weekend to us. Weekend is around the corner, so I'm so excited for us. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're going to do. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. <clears throat> Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Taurus. Let's do this. Oh, wow. They're showing up here as emperor with lover's card towards you. Let's see. Universe, please show us very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus, for Taurus highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Taurus, what's popping? You want a relationship that is lifetime commitment. That's what you want. You are quiet. You've been waiting for your soulmate to communicate with you. This is a serious connection for you. You feel like this was the person that you wanted to spend your life with. But you're quiet right now. You're not communicating with the soulmate, with the person. You are holding back this communication. Yeah, this is you trying to figure out, is this truly the person for you after all? You're trying to figure out. Yeah. You have very high standards, very high standards. You're showing up here as Empress Energy, whether you're male or female. You are someone who is not into frivolous connections. You want something uh, that's of value. You are not into surrounding yourself with just anybody. You are very picky who you call your friends. Yeah, you are very selective. Therefore, it makes sense why you want a soulmate that will um, meet you halfway, right? Who's going to be uh, a soulmate for a lifetime. Yeah, you don't want to waste your time on frivolous connections. In was please show us what's coming up for Taurus and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? You right now are concentrating on your financial well-being, your prosperity, your health, your wellness is very important to you. You love this person though. Yeah, this is you loving this person, but you don't feel they meeting you halfway for some reason, which uh, now I understand why they showed up at the beginning as emperor. <clears throat> this person is... Um, of importance at the job or business uh, has a lot of pride and they don't like to initiate communication. They don't like to show they are emotionally vulnerable. Yeah. Um, hmm. They're very uh, concerned about their image, how they are viewed by people around them. Universe, please show us. Um, they like to be admired, recognized, for their accomplishments. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? You're waiting for this communication to happen, to see what this person really wants from this relationship. Yeah, you are very connected with this person from past lifetimes, spiritually, emotionally. Yeah, you're not taking any action right now. You feel that it, the ball is in the court and they need to proceed towards you to show you what they truly want from this connection. But there's a new soulmate showing up here for you. Did you know? So it's either somebody you already know or are about to meet. 
you're showing up as very grounded, consistent, reliable. And the new soulmate is showing up with the same kind of energy as yours. You see this? Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Wow. Well, let's see what's going on with the soulmate that you are not communicating with at this particular time. Let's first clarify this. This is your energy. Yeah, you know what you want in a relationship. And you don't want to settle for just anything. Yeah, you know your worth, value. And how much you can bring to the table in relationships. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. And how is Taurus currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah. You see, the summit of yours for the second time is showing up as emperor. <clears throat> uh, they want to see you. Yeah, they want to reconnect with you, see you, spend time with you. But they have hard time... Like, letting you know where this is going, what to expect, how they feel. Yeah, you see, so something serious happened. The tower moment happened. The two of you are not together right now. And you're holding back right now. You're not reaching out, not communicating with this person. Yeah, this is you being very careful, cautious. Universe, please show us. Yeah, you're very guarded, emotionally careful. Uh, observing your soulmate's reaction, uh, communication patterns, behavior. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus. And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? They want to see you. So again, three of cups showed up. You see, just like it showed up minutes, a minute ago. You see, they want to see you so badly. Um, hmm. they want to reunite with you yeah they're missing you see so it shows emotions that they don't like to show they don't like to show that they are emotionally vulnerable um, yeah this is them missing you reminiscing of you very emotional about you they want to take action yeah this person is important at the job of business uh, attractive, influential, respected. <sighs> yeah, you see? Uh, this means unexpected communication, but it looks like they're waiting to see what you're going to do. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus, and how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? This is them sad. So they feel they lost you or they lost your love. Uh, this is them feeling unloved, um, abandoned emotionally, physically. <clears throat> they, they feel like they didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate, and you let them go because of it. Yeah, you see, they want to take action towards you, but they're scared. You see, this is them scared, fearful. This is them recognizing that there are problems in communication, a lot of misunderstandings. This person loves you. Um, but such deep, intense emotions uh, scare them. They don't know how to control these emotions. They don't like to be seen as emotionally vulnerable. They like to be in control. They like to be alpha. Yeah, you see, they love you deeply, but the cups are empty. They haven't really... Uh, giving you clear signals as where this is truly going or how they feel. Yeah, you see? This is them trying to figure out what to do next. This is them holding on to you, not releasing you, unable to let you go because of how they feel about you. They love you a lot. Yeah. You care for this person, but you want to see some significant changes in this relationship. Something steady. Uh, where you feel emotionally secure in this connection and you don't feel that. Yeah, you don't feel that. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus and how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? Oh, boy. Yeah, you see, for the third time, they're showing up as emperor. Yeah, 
they have too much pride to reach out to you first, but they know that if they don't hear from you, they're going to have no choice but to reach out to you. Yeah, you see, the tower moment happened. The two of you are not together. They're waiting to see what you're going to do, and they know if you don't proceed, they're going to have to proceed. Let me see more, more. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus. And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus? And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? Wow, you are very important to this person. This is them not liking to show. They don't like to show that they are emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, this is them uh, not telling you how they truly feel or wh where this is going. Yeah, this person is hoping that this is not the end. Yeah, you see? So something serious happened with the two of you had some heated exchange of words, argument, fights, disagreements of serious nature. This person wants to break this silence so badly. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus. And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? Yeah, you see, they, they see very clearly what the mistake was. And they feel a lot of guilt, regret for losing you. So the good thing is that they recognize clearly what the problem is. The question is, what will they do about this situation, right? What actions will they take to correct the situation, right? Mm -hmm. So they see very clearly what needs to happen, what they should do. This is them looking over everything objectively, trying to make a wise decision, not rushing. Yeah, for the third time, three of cups from two different tarot decks. This person wants to see you so badly. Yeah, they're scared of your rejection, your judgment, but they also are concerned. <coughs> Sorry. They also are concerned that there are people in your life that don't uh, want maybe see you uh, with this person, who don't maybe approve of them. That's what they think, that they are concerned that there's somebody in your life, people uh, in your life, whether it's friends or family members, who don't necessarily want to see them back in your life. This person feels like they need to defend themselves, like they need to... Uh, defend their actions or presence in your life. Yeah, so they are secretive. They don't like to reveal too much. Uh, they like to hold things inside. Yeah. They really did try to let you go. They did. They really did try to completely release you and it hasn't worked. Yeah. Oh, you told them goodbye. Yeah, you did. You, you were very honest, blunt in your communication. You didn't sugarcoat anything. You were very honest. Yeah. You see, they heartbroken. Ooh, one, two, three, three swords. This person is very deeply heartbroken, but they hiding it very well. So if you were to look at them from the outside, they would seem like everything is fine, but inside they are very deeply heartbroken. They just don't want to show it. They don't want to show they are emotionally vulnerable. Um, they like to control their feelings, their emotions. Let me see. Universe, please show us. Um, hmm. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus? And how is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time? Yeah, you see, this person... Um, feels that this is a very serious relationship connection with you that they have. You see, they want to break this silence. They want to communicate. Um, they're not able to let you go. This is them hoping you're going to reach out first, but they know they're going to have to initiate this communication. They love you a lot. Yeah, they do. This person loves you a lot. Yeah, you see, this is them not taking any actions right now, trying to figure out how to proceed correctly, what to do, because they're not able to let you go, not able to release you. Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this person, but also a new soulmate that popped up in your reading, asking of pentacles. So first, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have 
up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, showing up as king of pentacles, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.